here, way up in Entlebuch, only about an hour outside of Bern. This is where I grew up more than 20 years ago. I couldn't have imagined a better childhood. In winter we were always off skiing and in the summer we were out climbing and hiking. Outside of school we had lots of time and lots of freedom. It was really quite idyllic. To us it was all about the mountains and climbing. In those days my father took me along with him climbing. So to me this is really the most important place on this entire planet. It's where I can find peace and my inner energy and where I can always let go. My world was the mountains where I grew up. My name is Roger Jali. I'm an alpinist and mountain guide. And my huge passion is mountaineering and climbing. When the name Eiger drifted in my head, I can't truly say. Probably it's similar to how I can't properly comprehend why there is hematologies. It's just simply part of your life in Switzerland. And of course, my father was already on the summit of Eiger very early on. 
He told stories about that quite early. Then it was my time to climb up the summit of the Eiger, up the Mittelegi Ridge. I'm reminded of something. I was in training to be a carpenter. I must have been 17. We were building a wood house in Grindelwald. During the summer, I had more than three weeks with the Eiger North Face full in clear view. And that was the first time I could see it for so long and so clearly and this is still remember. I often couldn't tear my eyes away from the wall at all. I knew precisely that I won't climb this wall. I believe there is that certain something that characterizes a mountain climber. Like why a man like a woman, like how I can take his eyes off a pretty woman. There is just somehow a certain attraction, radiance, we climbed up from the alpine meadows along the entire Heckmai route in 15 hours and we reached the summit at the last light of day. We were so completely on our last legs. I believe everybody who climbs the Eigenor's face for the first time is enormously foolhardy and most of them in relationship take a lot of risk and also need a certain amount of luck. But I had a super climb. We got home and I recall this quite clearly, that I answered my mother's question with a grin about where I'd been. I said we had just climbed the Eiger North Face. And so there you have it. I didn't get any big prize, but no real reprimand either, because I felt she realized it had made me very happy and she didn't want to take away that joy. I was able to meet Takio Kato, the expedition leader of the first Diretissima sent by the Japanese at the Eiger Anniversary Jubilee. Everybody who had succeeded at the first ascent of the Eiger North Face was invited to a celebration in Grindelwald. And this was of course a highlight for me, personally meet and get to know the man who made the first ascent. I sat with him at his table the entire evening, and that's where I got to know Takio Kato's daughter, Yuri Kato. Japanese arrived with a team of six with a woman on the team. That was pretty unbelievable those days. They were real pioneers of modern alpinism. They had to put in huge efforts logistically. They knew a lot of boards were needed for the route. They had this made for them at home. They had more than a ton of climb home. They had more them and in the end started their climb with five. The five climbers spent an entire month of climbing the route. And also really outstanding is that the expedition leader Takio Kato even actually thought of documenting the climb way back in 1969. When you see this footage today, you may be think, oh, that's typically Japanese. But really pretty cool is how you can still see today how it all played out. I think if we didn't have this film, we may not totally believe they could have succeeded with this style.
total seven years to succeed at free ascent of the Japanese Hiratissima route. That means I spent seven summers trying to free climb this route and finally I succeeded with Robert Jasper. That was in 2009 and it was really a special moment up there when I realized I got ahead by letting go. I could relax and climb with focus. I had more reserve to complete this project in a way I had never dared to dream. And from that moment on, the Eiger has remained for me inspiring and fascinating. I evolved here, was able to go on the climb even more difficult routes. And now I see even more fascinating and inspiring routes. For me it's simply the best to be able to climb the Eiger. The route Emergency Exit is in Rotstock to the right of the Eiger. That's where I developed, where I trained a lot in the last six years. I was able to get to know Daniel in 2011 on the expedition to the Arva Spire. To me, he was a very strong, vibrant, likable young man who had a lot of life yet to live. And to live behind this tragic accident at such a beautiful place on the expedition was certainly one of my most significant experiences. In the end, I would never have thought that such thing could happen on our approach.
Then after searching in vain for Daniel for five days, Simon and I, all alone, up there, couldn't find him in the depths of the glacier. And so there we were, ultimately again so small and so humble. And this is why joy and thorough are so close tight in mountaineering and the awareness of holding tight and letting go. It was very important for me to go back again, to put closer on it and to let it go. For Daniel to attempt to reach the summit and in the end we did just that. Mountains are for me the place where one lives, where one shares friendships. We were a small but quite excellent team, with my partner Simon Gietl, who is for me of course the most important man on the mountain. I could say a lot about Simon. From the first moment I met him, I felt very close to him. He's really an outdoor guy. You just can't be angry with him. And of course, he's also a very talented climber. You always end up more enriched when out adventuring with him. of course strenuous but it doesn't really feel so difficult and at some point you return totally satisfied those are the hours and the days that truly mean something those are really memorable days that i put into my personal museum at home and with this your life is truly enriched